Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com. While I was putting together the Skyline remix I did earlier this week, you can find that here, I got thinking about live electronic music in general. Appropriate t-shirt alert. It's really different from other instruments. You get to choose exactly how hard you make the performance on yourself. For my live performance of the Skyline remix I did, I just stuck to performing the vocal samples over the top of the backing track, but there's an infinite number of ways I could have performed the same song. I bet there are some people out there who think it's cheating not to hit every single sample in the track. But where does that end? Is it cheating to trigger a whole loop? Or should you split it up into different sections and trigger them separately? There's no convention, so it's difficult to know where to set the difficulty level. Maybe there should be an easy, medium and hard mode. I know when I watch a live performance I want to be entertained by the show or impressed by the talent of the musician. Ideally both. That's why I freaking love people like Beardy Man, Haifana and this guy. I don't know about you guys, but when someone in his tracky beige comes on stage and just nods his head for 30 minutes after pressing play, I'm not particularly enthralled. I can do that myself at home. The least they could do is wear some sort of giant stylized cadaverous rodent on their head. Cadaverous rodent would be an awesome name for a dead mouse death metal cover band. Anyway, another point. I remember watching NPC performances like this one on YouTube and thinking, wow, that's amazing. But then when I actually learned to play an NPC, I realized it didn't take a particularly good memory, hours of practice, or massively good dexterity to pull it off. Though it did sound awesome and the guy looks like he's enjoying himself. Is that more important? I'm pretty sure we all know what we want from a performance, but we don't generally perform to ourselves. So that would be cool. So let's pool our opinions. What do you find impressive? What matters to you when you see an electronic music performance? And at what point do you feel cheated? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Once you've done that, click here to see the Skyline remix and click here to see my last vlog. And don't forget that I recently hooked it up with YouTube so that Boynaband subscribers get extra weight in their kick drums when they're producing. And it took a lot of effort to organise that with them, so I'd really appreciate it if you've subscribed if you found this video useful. Your kicks really will feel punchier. So on that note, which note? This one. I'll be off to work on next week's videos. Doodle pip.